Right then, welcome to a very complicated mess in the garage. If, like me, you end up buying old cars, you discover that they have terrible headlights. In fact, the bulbs on the Land Cruiser are like two candles inside a bin bag. Yuck. And so I need to change the bulbs for something that's going to be a bit stronger. The problem is, the marketing for bulbs is full of hokum, garbage, pish posh. Let me show you. These are the Osram Nightbreaker lasers, which apparently are 150% brighter. They contain no lasers. Here is the Ring Xenon Ultima, 120%. Uh, it contains no Xenon. This is a Philips Extreme Vision Pro 150, um, which as far as I can see, its main selling point is the fact that it's it's blue because it has two rings of blue on it. This is a standard bulb made by Sylvania, which um, I think is something to do with Count Dracula. These are super bright premiums. These apparently are off-road bulbs, which means they probably run a higher wattage. Now my good friend Dave does lots of lab testing, and so he's very kindly loaned me his spare uh, voltage bench thing, I don't know what you call that, and I have a spare a uh, headlight unit here because uh, I'm breaking a Land Cruiser apart. Also, just while I'm tidying up here, I've discovered a set of batteries uh, which are titled Pound Max, which I do believe is uh, Big Dave's prison nickname. So I'm going to put these HB4 bulbs in and try and find out with some actual science because I have here a, I was going to say a lumen meter, I have a lux meter. So this will measure, assuming I take the cap off, this will measure the amount of light uh, being produced by these bulbs. So let's do some actual scientific testing to find out if any of these bulbs live up to their claims and which one I will keep in the Land Cruiser. Now as I said before these are uh, HB4s, uh, I'm assuming that HB stands for headlight bulb uh, and on the back of this one it says it is a 51 watt bulb. This is a standard OEM fitment bulb made by Sylvania, which says it's USA despite the fact that it sounds like it's, you know, Soviet Russia. So I'll pop this in, and then we get to the janky part of this where I have to try to not electrocute myself with these uh, crocodile clips. So let's see how I get on here. Unlike some of the other bulb patterns like H4 and H7, uh, these ones have a moulded plug included on it rather than having those uh, fiddly metal pins that constantly get in your way. Oh, got sparks. That means I'm getting close. Oh, this is fine. All right, that's mostly, uh, mostly uh, in place. Here's my rough plan. We have here the bench voltageotron, and I'm gonna put that up to, basically to just over 14 volts. That's, I think your car alternator might get to 14.4, but 14 volts will do for me. So the standard bulb is drawing almost 4.3 amps. It looks like some bulb. It's a little yellow. And let's find out how much uh, light it is producing. And to do that, I'm gonna walk my ass over here to the front of the garage, past all the trash, and I'm gonna find a spot which is quite bright. Now, that's over here at the moment, so I'm gonna spin the, the headlight bulb a little bit. So let's go and see what we get. And I'm gonna aim for that point which looks for the brightest. Standard bulb fitment, 878 lux. I don't know what that is in lumens, but we've got a benchmark. Next up, we got the Ring Xenon Ultima Turbo Xtron X Light. I don't know why they have these stupid names. Ring bulb, which apparently is actually made by a company called A Light. So uh, there's that. So they both have this uh, sort of silver painted cap on them. This one has a little bit of blue paint to make it look like it's Xenon ish and a slightly longer frame by the looks of it. But they're all, all the HB4s are made with this uh, O-ring sealed uh, waterproof housing. Maybe that's why they're using them in, you know, the 4x4s and the Land Cruiser, because of the waterproof single piece housing. Anyway, let me put this one in and let's see what we get uh, in terms of our Lux score. This time that's definitely a more white light. So let's uh, see how we get on. Oh, well, my shadow's in the way, so that's not ideal. Beam looks still nice and sharp. I'm gonna try and get to this little hot spot in the corner here and see what sort of rating we get. A new record. 
1435 lux at 4.1 amps so it's a little bit less a new record for the ring xenon ultima made by a light well that's immediately impressive so the one that said it was 120 percent brighter is actually hang on it's actually 63.4 percent brighter i just did that in my head right now so a uh, good result there from the ring bulbs Another note, be smart. Don't put hot bulbs in the plastic packet because it will absolutely shrink wrap the bulb. It's, uh, I wonder why I could smell burning. Don't do that, kids. Now the Philips Extreme Vision Pro 150, which should be 150% brighter. It has two blue rings, so I'm hoping this will be as blue as a blue thing. Uh, this one doesn't have a different manufacturer listed, so we can assume this is actually made by uh, Philips. Slightly higher beam, I think, maybe? Just as white as the previous ones. Okay, 1295 at n nearly 4.7 amps. So that one's uh, drawing more current than the ring to produce less light. I don't think it's any bluer. Oh man, this one stinks when I pulled it out. That smells wretched. Next up, the Osram Nightbreaker Laser with no lasers. I mean, it says up to 150% and up to plus 20%. I, I, I don't know what that is. But it's in a very fancy box, which I don't think I'll be able to open one-handed. We'll give it a try. No, shaking bulbs, not a good idea. I'll pull them out. Well, that is definitely the fanciest, schmanciest packaging. Uh, two blue rings and the same painted cap on the end. Uh, this one says uh, 51 watts. Uh, Osram USA. Let's find out how this one does. That one is slightly bluer than the competition. Again, no real remarks on the shape of the beam. It just looks like a beam. All right, 1,416 lux. That's a good score. And that is at nearly 4.8 amps. So that's the highest draw yet. And it produces the highest amount of power. That is the Osram Nightbreaker Lasers. 1,416 at 4.8 amps. And now the wild card entry, the 80 watt off-road bulbs, which I think makes these illegal to use, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because, you know, I'm in a garage. Uh, right, same cap, darker silver on this one, same waterproof housing, uh, Osram USA on the back. Let's find out how good these are. And my hope would be that these are the most powerful out of the whole lot because they're supposed to run at higher wattage. So these are the off-road bulbs, no real difference on the pattern. Slightly more yellow than the, you know, the fancy blue ones, but still I would describe that as a white light, not a yellow one. Okay, ding, 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 we have a winner. 1,573 lux, and it is using nearly 5.3 amps to do it so uh good that is the brightest one here let me just work out these wattage draws and the costs and we'll get some results and now here's a little bonus round for you at 5.3 amps this is an hb3 bulb which is the full beam uh you know like your flashers would would use it is a much more scattered beam and it's very very bright and it's definitely drawing more power let's see what it looks like sharpest point of the beam is now moved over to the right of me let's go find out how bright that is but that is that is a cheap sylvania default bulb but i reckon that is the brightest out of the lot oh well the power thing just spun up some fans i guess it's busy yeah, I, I, I don't know why that's going so high. I mean, that's, it says times 10, so what is that? 4,500 lux coming off that thing? Wow, okay, yeah, 4,500 lux. That's to be believed, and that is that. Oh, man, it's so bright in my eyes, I can't see the thing. Five five point three amps. Uh, so, HB3's, the back of it says 60 watts, so it's definitely a brighter bulb out of the packet. I should get some off-road HB3's and see what that does. But that's definitely the brightest out of the lot. But that is the main beam bonus round. For the last piece of this puzzle, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to turn on the Range Rover's HID lamps and find out what sort of lux rating I get from those.
1,355 lux, that's the maximum from the HIDs. All right, now I'm gonna channel my best project farm impersonation here as I run through all of the results. In fifth place, we have the Sylvania bulb made in USA. It uh, delivered 878 lux, that was our baseline. You can get a pair of them for about 12 pounds. It ran at 60 watts and delivered 15 lux per watt uh, burned and it delivered 73 lux per pound spent. The badge of shame goes to the Philips Extreme Vision Pro 150, which didn't meet its 150% claim. It managed 147%. It did uh, a lux of 1,295. It burned 65 watts to do it, giving us a score of 20 lux per watt burned and 45 lux per pound. According to value, this is the worst bulb here. Next we have the Osram Nightbreaker Laser, the bluest bulb when we looked at it. This managed to deliver a very impressive 1,416 lux. 27 pounds spent. This ran at 67 watts. It delivered 21 lux per watt burned and did 52 lux per pound spent. So a more expensive option, but a nicer color and a great lux performance. The real surprise here was the Ring Ultima Xenon 120 bulb, which actually delivered 163% uh, of the amount of light um, in our test. 1,435 lux, it ran at 57 watts, and for 23 pounds spent, this is a great second place bulb. Uh, it delivered 25.2 lux per watt burned and 62 lux per pound spent. This is a great bulb choice. And if you don't want to move up to the uh, illegal wattages, this, I reckon, is the one to have. The Ring Automotive Xenon Ultima. Not actually made by Ring. It's made by someone called a -Lite. The winner in terms of uh, both brightness and cost here is this Osram Super Bright Premium Rally E Off-Road 80 Watts. Now there's a mouthful. It was £18 for a pair of bulbs. It ran at 74 watts and it delivered 21 watt... and it delivered 21 uh, lux per watt burned and 87 lux per pound so tremendous value uh, it was the brightest overall at 1573 lux so as long as you're comfortable running a slightly higher uh, wattage bulb uh, then you're in good shape now if i consult my notes here about the wattages 5.3 amps is what it ran at now the HB3 main beam bulb is running at a higher amperage than that. So your wires are good. They're already uh, carrying more than that in current for stock uh, full beam bulbs. So there you go. Cheap and cheerful. Badge of shame. Lovely and blue. Great, great option. Illegal and brightest. So you can probably guess which one I'm going to be fitting to my Land Cruiser going forward. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a little bit different to what I normally do. I've done my best to channel Project Farm here and deliver a roundup of bulb options. So if, like me, you're looking to find out what is the brightest option for you, it looks like running off-road bulbs or those Xenon 120s are a good way to go. And unless you want something really blue, don't bother with the, the really expensive laser bulbs because the, there's no lasers and the they're no brighter. And of course, many thanks to Big Dave for loaning me his lux meter and his voltage bench thing. Check out the David McClucky channel if you get some time. I'll put a link down below. What have we learned? It is possible to exceed the, the, the brightness of a set of HID lamps. You don't need HIDs. You can get bulbs which will do it for you uh, because there are several options here which were more powerful than the Range Rovers. Uh, HIDs with the ballast kit and everything. Off-road bulbs are brighter, but they're not a lot brighter than some of the best options that you can get at normal wattages. And it is possible for me to still remember how to write down things on paper without using a keyboard. That's a, a, a breakthrough for me. I hope that video was useful. Thank you for watching, everyone. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do anything more like this. And if not, I hope it was useful. Take care of yourselves, make good decisions, and I'll see you in another video. Bye, everyone.